Hi lads, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be a review, a quick look at the Italieri uh, West H H S H A S one. Excuse me. This is going to be my entry into uh, Worthy Brit. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? So uh, Italieri Wessex uh, HS1 uh, 148 scale. Uh, we've got some photo H. It says here contains one model, not the two. <laughs> Should you be confused? What I do need to do, um, I have obviously had a look in this side of this box before, which would explain why it is a little bit on the old battered side. So if we have a look. Uh, that there, we'll talk about that in a minute. That is not part of the kit, not part of the kit. Uh, so you can see the state we're in, as normal, we're all bagged up, all ready to go. Okay, so I'll pop back, uh, I'll debag all the um, plastic crap and we'll have a look. Okay, uh, well, what we'll do, I think, we'll just have a quick look at the um, Italiere instructions first. We've got some write up on here. Uh, derived from uh, directly derived from the American Sikorsky. Uh, how do you say that? Chukatao. Excuse me, um, <laughs> pronunciation of that. Uh, late 50s, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have a read that though. Now, I don't think I know what I'm talking about here, as you've probably just um, worked out. Uh, I'll probably need to have a, have a good look on, on what we're doing. Um, so we've got um, like a map to tell me what terms where all the parts are, which is a good idea. Tell us what we've got in the box. Got some photo etching, some plastic, a little netting. So then obviously, as you are, right into the uh, cockpit. And it looks like in the photo etch, we do get some seat belts, which is, which is rather nice. Um, is there any, tell you what, have we got an age? Have we got an age on this kit? Any age, any age, you're looking at any age. I can't find age, I'm gonna look out for that in a minute. Uh, so we're into the cockpit here. We have call outs, color call outs. These are gonna be lettered, of course, uh, with the corresponding letters on here. They're obviously in Italieri's own um, paints. I will have to do FS colors though. So obviously we'll have to do our own uh, conversion on that although I do tell you I do tell a lie I've got actually no we'll have a look at that in a minute we'll have a look at them paints in a minute so yeah sorry back to the cockpit so that's relatively straightforward main cabin again it's all pretty straightforward nice uh, easy uh, uh, instructions uh, pretty pretty basic stuff, hopefully. Netting, eh? Is that netting that goes on the inside of the inside of the um, front of the nose there? Got a decal for the um, instrument panel, but it does look flat, so that's a bit disappointing, I suppose, is the word, perhaps. Uh, oh, instructions there, look, look at them in a minute. Again, you can see it's relatively, relatively simple. I hope that goes together okay, that joint. Um, uh, a bit more plastic net in there. Uh, step 11, we're getting to the rotors on step 13, unlucky for some. Can't be that's it, 13 steps, that's all there is. Pretty basic. Uh, hopefully, it should be quite an easy uh, construction. And here are the call outs here. Oh, that's the decals, sorry. Common decals. There's a few, not loads, but there's a few to um, have a play with. Um, and then on to the schemes. Obviously, it's in black and white, which is a bit of a shame. This is the scheme I'm going to be going for. This is 1978 Miss Hermes, the uh, Air Sea Rescue. Uh, and I've got um, the, the the orange and a uh, and the grey. Now just bear with, gentlemen, because I am going to be going with um, MRP for this. And I did ask, excuse me, I did ask on the MRP 
um, a Facebook group on has anyone got any ideas what proper colours I could use? And no less than the main man came back with these these two colours. So I hope he's right. So I'm going to be the colours we'll be using. That's how ever so bright that orange is going to be the grey blue. The grey blue. Uh, let's go that way around. The grey blue, um, which is the MRP two eight one, which is an Israeli colour. But he said that's the closest we get. They get uh, to this non spectacular blue grey, and the luminous orange. Please use white undercoat. Exclamation mark. Good God. Don't use anything else. Uh, that really is bright. I hope it dulls down a little bit. So, uh, which is MRP uh, one nine four. So that's what I'm going to be going with. So that's quite that's ever so bright, isn't it? Probably could do with a bit more of a shake, but um, the paints I'm going to be using. Looking forward to that. Although I'm not bad colour, bloody hell, look at that. Um, so the other colours, the other call outs or the other schemes in this boxing are the from HBS Bulwark, uh, which is on the front of the um, front of the box, which is the sand and the dark green. It's quite a nice camo camo scheme. And the other one I was playing, or I was thinking about, would be this the um, uh, from um, Victorious, which is HSM apparently. Uh, which is the the yellow over blue, which which was my other um, choice, uh, but obviously I've gone with the um, the Hermes SE Rescue. Uh, oh, it's too late now. I've got the paint. Uh, oh, and there's another one. So there is four. Yes, and then the the, the one uh, from 1962 is just flat sand, which is what I thought was a might. But actually, that probably would have been quite nice as well. But um, I've made the choice. Okay, so relatively nice instructions, uh, pretty basic. Um, I hope it goes together as as well as it uh, as well as it reads. If you understand what I'm saying, B in, internal color, medium, flat medium grey. That's ambiguous, isn't it? Okay, there you go. Let's have a look at the plastic. So uh, we'll have a look at this, uh, well, obviously the main fuselage um, halves. Uh, on first glance, um, it's a little bit flashy. Uh, there's nice detail. There is a little bit of a texture to the plastic. Oh, cut me. Sounds like I know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, I'm actually building at the minute a Tamiya... Um, Thunderbolt and it's an absolute joy. Uh, it's my first Tammy kit I've been building for a long, long time and it's an absolute. Anyway, let's not talk about that. Uh, trying to compare the two manufacturers is a bit unfair, really. Uh, but so, right, uh, let's have a look then. So, uh, consoles, we have got some ra nice raised switches on the inside, nicely raised there as well. So, that'll take a nice dry brush and a nice little wash through there. As I said before, there's a little bit of flash on there. There's a bit of a texture on some of these upper surfaces. And whether that wants polishing out or whether I can live with it, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be using Styler Res for a, uh, or the, or the Ump or Styler Res, whichever one I can get to first. As a, uh, as a primer, so maybe, because it's a little on the thick side, it might cover some of this. Uh, but look at this lovely detail on here, on the hinge. That's lovely, on this on the, on the tail rotor hinge. Lovely detail there. Internals, nice detail on that. Uh, the quill tin's quite nice. Uh, the floor pan, uh, again, it's going to take a wash nice. Is that the roof, the ceiling inside? Nice. You can find the colour for that, that's like a metallic. Metallic grey. Um, on the inside, we've got a bit of detail, some lovely uh, injector pins. So, um, with any luck, we won't be seeing these. Um, I guess I need to do something to them. 
I would fancy them five there and possibly that one we'll have to do something with so that's really nice thanks for that chaps uh, tail rotor looks okay uh, as part of the engine I'd imagine here uh, yeah it's okay it's one of these kits that already you could see apart from the, the switching a bit of photo edge would um, liven that up but that's not too bad a little bit flashy perhaps but oh, we can live with that. it's fine isn't it Onto one of the other main sprues, we've got something hanging off here. Uh, well, that's okay, we must be right. Uh, so they've got the nose section again, that's lovely detail on there. Look at that, that's lovely, that's nice detail. Do something with that. The front nose, nicely. Um, rivets, possibly a, a you know, bit heavy, but they're there. Um, Panel lines again a little bit heavy, but not as heavy as Airfix ones. Um, part of the upper uh, part of the fuselage, is it? Nicely detailed, a bit of a door. Obviously, that will be cut out for a window and a different variant. Um, that's about it on that one. Uh, still nicely detailed though. So here we have obviously what this is, rotors, rotor blades and uh, wheels. Uh, these are, are a double so we'll only look at one. Uh, Pre-bent um, rotors which is good um, I don't know how that helps me because I might have in mind deployed so that might be interesting uh, to bend them back which is a bit of a shame bend them back straight perhaps uh, oh dear is that the seat seat's a bit bland isn't it seat is a bit bland uh, one of the wheels two wheels in two hours but they are weighted small bits but it is a bit Flashy. Um, the exhaust obviously is is obviously hollow because it's in two pieces, but uh, obviously there's a seam there to deal with. Um, and and a and a little uh, football. <laughs> Got to know where that goes. Um, but nice detail on these rotors. It's a shame they're. Um, I say it's a shame they're 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 curved. But if they were flat and as them deployed, I'd be saying it's a shame they're not. Um, so you can't win either way, can you? So as we said, there's a bit of netting that goes in front of the nose, which is netting. Uh, excuse my fingers, I've been priming today a little bit. Uh, and the photo edge piece, uh, which has got some belts. And the front of the, I don't know what I didn't find actually, was the, oh I see, so it's going to be that, it's going to be a flat um, instrument panel with that decal, which we'll have a look at in a minute, uh, and a little photo etch piece to go, so that's actually not too bad at all. Nice little photo etch fret, probably just enough. So um, obviously the glass, what we'll do, we'll, we'll probably whip that open and we'll have a quick look. Um, yeah, it's clear. Um, it is clear. It is quite, uh, it is quite, that's a bit, got a bit of a shake to it, a bit of flash, but it is quite clear. Um, I don't know whether you can see, Let's have a look at that one there. I've put my MRP there. You can see that through there. It's obviously haze because it's probably. Is that the front or is that the front? Um, but no, you can see it, it's the. Um, they are quite clear. 
obviously they won't be clear where they're round because it's difficult to um, um, to manufacture but where they are flat it is nicely clear so that's um it doesn't seem a lot in there it doesn't seem to be a lot of glass front canopy doors well, i suppose it's probably enough mm. anyway glazing And then um, we've got the, the decals, uh, which look to be rather nice indeed. Um, there is quite a bit of carrier frill. You probably can't, probably can't see it on this. All the way around here. Now, whether I cut this out or whether we not bother, I, I don't really know. And around here around here or oh, carry film around there um, instrument panel so that would be for the photo etch and that's just going to be if we wanted just to use the decal so we'll be using that one um, stencil data it's quite nice it's nice and flat seems to be nice and thin um, nice and colorful obviously made in Italy uh, not too bad at all that that's quite nice So what I'm going to have with mine is uh, rotors folded away. So from Scale Warship, a bit of advertising for them, uh, we've um, or we've got that. We've got this. So we've got a photo etch set on there, and some I don't know what that is, 3D printed um, bits for there, and we've got a, um, a, 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 a little, oh like a little rod of, of uh, brass. So let's we just take this out of here. Do, 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 do. You might hear the boiler just come on. So I've got the heating on. Even nicer I've turned it off. <laughs> so this is your brass for the I haven't really looked at this. I'm probably not gonna have a real good look at it until I actually do it because it is kind of scaring me a little bit. This is obviously the road ahead and the blade head. I'm not going to get it all out because I'll end up losing it. Uh, they're 3D printed, I would have thought. It's quite nice. Nice bit of brass. Now the instructions for them, obviously, are here. Um, so. Remove rotor blades. Okay, yeah, so you cut them, glue them on. Mm. So this does fit the Taieri kit, the gallery kit, and a Ravel kit, if you're interested. Photo watch, photo watch bending. I'll go over the main fuselage um, rear, and I'll see then here your blade holders here, which are them there. Number two. Mm. Yeah, instructions aren't, in these instructions aren't the best. Um, and obviously that's what it's going to hopefully end up looking like. They are straight, aren't they? So I need to re bend. There's that holder lock there. what it's going to look like he, he says um okay well i'm sure we can manage i'm sure we'll manage with that I mean, it looks on first glance it looks a little bit complicated but once you get into it hopefully um yeah, 3d printed hopefully it shouldn't be too bad at all um so yeah so that, that is the the quick look at the atelieri wessex and this little fold set a blade fold detail set of them i should say Well, there you go chaps that's a pretty basic pretty basic little kit uh, which i've built up into something that's quite um 
more than acceptable. If I can spray that orange um, <laughs> and the dark blue, of course. Is it dark blue? It's supposed to be uh, like a grey blue, but it's like a non spectacular thing. Uh, I haven't sprayed, I haven't done anything like this before, that one, so that's going to be a right challenge. Uh, on the white primer, should be okay. This, as I said before, this is going to be my entry into um, Whirly Brit. If you're not aware, Whirly Brit is the latest or the the, the, the latest uh, group build that we're running through on uh, British Aviation in scale. So if you fancy um, uh, building a uh, helicopter, it's a helicopter group build. It must be British, of course, uh, British by origin or foreign origin. Uh, um, Helicopters are fine, but obviously they must be um, in British colours. The standard kind of rules that we have on uh, on bays. So come over, get yourself in, uh, and have a go at it. It runs from the second. I've got to get this right now. I? The second uh, of March two thousand and nineteen, of course. So if you're watching this in two years' time, you you've probably missed it. We well, have missed it. This is run from the second of March right up to the second of June. Uh, Saturday to Saturday, which helps me out more enormously. Um, we have a main sponsor for the first time. I'd like to thank Dave, Dave Evans over at uh, Whirly Bird Models. He's sponsoring, um, he's sponsoring this group build. Um, fantastic stuff, Dave. Thank you very much. Um, and he's sponsoring it to the tune of um, a fifty pounds. So whoever we deem worthy enough to be <laughs> to be the winner of the group build will will get to spend fifty pound in, in his in his store, which is fantastic news. Um, so yeah, this is a, quite a few of us that signed up to for starting, um, and and I think we've started already. Yes, yeah, so it's now the second of March, I believe. I'm recording this, so we've started. So come on over, have a go at. Uh, a helicopter, British helicopter group. We don't see many of them, helicopter group builds, um, obviously, and certainly not British ones, so we thought we'd give it a go. Um, this kit, as I say, I've had this kit a little while now, and it's prompted me thinking, oh, I better, I better build, why can I build that? Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's have a group build. So there you go. I'm going to, um, I, think, I think I've waffled enough. Uh, I'm going to love you and leave you, so take care of yourself, happy modelling, and I'll see you on Whirly Brit. Alright chaps, see you later.